गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अविनाश भोये फ्रॉम मुंबई पब्लिक स्कूल धारावी काला किला वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन टुडेज ऑनलाइन लेसन सो हियर दिस इज माय सेल्फ अविनाश भोये फ्रॉम मुंबई पब्लिक स्कूल धारावी काला किला द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज प्रिपेरेशन फॉर अलजेब्रा स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेसन वी लर्न अबाउट expressions equality inequality and use of lesser than greater than and equal etc okay now see can anyone read this expressions yes student Six plus six, 6 plus 6 15 minus 3 Twelve. Very good. Now twenty-four divided by two is twelve. Twelve. Here we can see that the value of each expression is equal. Yes. Yes. Okay. The value of all expression is twelve. So these expressions are equal to each other. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we can write it as. Six plus six is equal to twelve. Fifteen minus three. We can't write the value. We write the equalities. Okay. We learn in the previous lesson. Yes. Equality is six into two is yes. Six into two is. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Now we can write it like this, na. Six, six into two. Six plus six is equal to fifteen minus three. Very good. Six into two is equal to fifteen minus three. Twenty-four. Twenty-four divided by two is equal to. So we can write six plus six or fifteen minus three or six into two. So all these are equalities. Yes. Yes. Okay. See here, this six plus six is equal to six multiplied by two. Then six plus six. Is equal to twenty four divided by two. Then six plus six is fifteen minus three. Fifteen minus three is equal to twenty four divided by two. Then six multiplied by two is equal to twenty four divided by two. Means the value of each expression is equal. So these all are equalities. Okay, we can write equalities as this. Now read this one. Seven plus five and seven multiplied by five. Seven multiplied by five. Okay. Now we will check the equalities. Okay. Now seven plus five is twelve. Twelve. Okay. And seven multiplied by five is thirty-five. 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 So is it equal or not equal? Not equal. Not equal. Not equal. Means this is not equality. Okay, now see the next one. Read eight minus two and eight divided by two. Okay, now okay, we will find the value. Eight minus two is six. Six. Six and eight divided by two is seven. yes. Eight divided by two is yes. It is four. four. Now. Is it equal or not equal? 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव सो वी विल put this symbol this or this symbol this is symbol for lesser than yes now this symbol we will write here 8 minus 2 and 8 divided by 2 so this symbol we will write here lesser or greater lesser six greater. is lesser than greater yes it is we will write here greater okay very good now see these are inequalities okay now, here questions for you fill in the blanks with right symbol from gray, lesser greater or equal now see here read the first one read this one 45 divided by 9 box yes 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 okay good now we will find the values value of this expression okay 14 divided by 9 is Five. Five. Okay. Equality. Equality. Okay. Nine fives are forty-five. Forty-five. Okay. Nine fives. Yes. Yes. So. Here the value of forty-five divided by nine is five, and nine minus four is five. 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 So the value of this expression is equal. Yes. Yes. So yes. We will put. We will put which sign is equal to sign. Equal to. Okay. Good. So we will write here equal. Equal to. Okay. Very mm. good. Now we will solve the next problem. Here, read this one. Six plus one, three multiplied by two. Okay. Now we will find the value of this expression. Okay. Six plus one is seven. Seven. Good. And third, three divided by two is six. Six. So what? seven is greater than six or lesser than six or equal to six. Greater. Greater. So we will write we will write which sign? This one, this one, or this one? Which is the greater sign? the second one okay so we will yes. write we will write here 6 plus 1 is greater than 3 multiplied by 2 very good now read the third one 12 multiplied by 2 25 plus 10 good now find the value of this expression 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 24 very good and 25 plus 10 is 35 35 so 24 is greater than or lesser than 35 or is it equal to 35 lesser 
let's uh, so we will put this sign yes yes okay good now read the question fill in the blanks in the expression with the uh, proper number okay so we have to write the proper number in the boxes okay now we read the expressions first one multiply one. by 7 is equal to is equal dash to... multiply by 1 okay now to find out the required number we will solve the first expression okay one multiplied by 7 is 7 7 okay now the value must be same or equal okay now seven, seven yes yes seven in so that in box same seven seven okay seven multiplied by one is seven okay very good so we will write seven here so the required number is seven very good now read this one five multiplied by four Seven yes. multiply by dash dash. Dash dash. Okay. Now we will find the value of first expression. Okay. This expression. Okay. Five multiplied by four is twenty. Twenty. Okay. Very good. And twenty must be greater than the right hand side expression. Okay. Now seven multiplied by which which number? Seven multiplied by two. Seven multiplied by two. Okay, it is fourteen. Or we can write seven multiplied by one also. Yes. Yes. Seven is also smaller than twenty. Twenty. Okay, okay. we can write two one. Okay, so this is fourteen. So 20 is greater than 14 or 7. We can write 1, 2 or 0 also. Because 0 is also smaller than 20. Yes? Yeah. Good. Now read the third one. 48 divided by 3 or dash dash multiplied by 5. Dash dash multiplied by. Can you solve it? Five. Yes. Okay. Tell me the answer. Forty divided by three is okay. We will do the division here. Forty eight divided by three. Okay. Okay, three ones are three. three. Okay, so one here. Huh? What three six are eighteen? Eighteen. So answer is sixteen. Sixteen. So sixteen. Okay, now sixteen must be smaller than the second value. So, which number we have to put in the box? If we put 1, so the answer is 5. If we put 2, the answer four. is yes. Four. While we put in 4, we get 20. 20. Okay. 20. So, we will put 4, 5, 6 or the number greater than 4. Very good. 4 is right answer. Okay. Now, the fourth one. Read the expression. Zero plus 1, 5 multiplied by dash dash. Okay. Now, 0 plus 1 is? 1. 1. Okay. So, 1 must be greater than the? Yes, the value of 
राइट हैंड साइड इक्वेशन ओके ना फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन इज ओके सो फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन लेसर देन और ग्रेटर देन वन ग्रेटर सो इट इज रॉन्ग इफ वी पुट वन देन इट इज रॉन्ग सो विच नंबर यू हैव टू पुट इन द बॉक्स जीरो जीरो by putting zero what value we get zero zero so zero is smaller than 1 so zero is the correct answer okay very good now the fifth one 35 multiplied by 7 is equal to dash dash Okay, 35 multiplied by 7 is 35 divided by 7 okay okay all of you know the table of 7 yes okay tell me Seven ones are seven. Seven two is fourteen. Seven th three is twenty one. Seven four is twenty eight. Seven five is thirty five. Seven six is forty two. Seven seven is seven five is thirty five. Okay, good. Means the answer is five. Five. Okay. So five. Okay. So we must four make plus the... one. Four plus one, very good. So values must be equal. So four plus one, okay. Three plus two. Three plus two also, and then. One. One plus four, two plus three, zero plus five also, na? Yes. Okay, so we can put different numbers in boxes. What sum is five? Okay, very good. Now the sixth one. Six minus dash dash two plus three. Okay. Now here we have to find the value of right hand side expression. So two plus three is five. Two plus three is five. Good. So five must be greater than. The value of left hand side expression. Okay, now six, six minus, minus two. Six minus two is four. Four. If we put two here, then we get four. So four is smaller than five. Very good. We can put three also. Yes. yes. Three, four, five. Okay, very good. Now. Today we are going to learn using letters, letters in algebra. algebra. So see here, if this is you, okay. The smaller one is you, and this one is your elder brother. The right hand okay. side is you, and left hand side is your elder brother. Okay. Now yes. your your elder brother has. These many toffees. See here, uh, these many toffees or lot of toffees. We do not know the exact number. Okay, we don't have to count these toffees. We do not know the exact number. And you also have good num have good number of toffees. Now, we do not know the exact number. Okay, we don't know what is the exact number of these toffees. But we all of we know that. Your elder brother has one more toffees than you. Okay, means yes. if he have ten toffees, then you will have nine toffees. So if he have twenty toffees, you must have nineteen toffees. Nineteen. So you have one toffee lesser than your elder. elder brother, but we don't know the exact number. We can assume. Okay, so we only know that the number of toffees there with your 
u is one less than toffees with your elder brother so how will we describe this relationship you have any idea how will write it because we do not know the actual number of toffees sometimes he has 17 you must have 16 if we have 21 you you will have 20 you always have one toffee lesser than your elder brother so here how how we describe this situation okay now suppose let assume okay if your elder brother has x number of toffees x number of toffees okay so how many to toffees you have yes student if your elder brother has x number of toffees then how many toffees you have you must have one toffee lesser than your elder brother so if we have x number of toffees you must have x minus 1 yes okay so here what is the x it is number yes student x is a number no no yes so here x is not a number like 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay 1 2 3 4 5 all these are natural numbers whole numbers integers but x is not any natural number whole number integer so what is x it is not a number but use like a number okay so here we are assuming let us suppose that is your elder brother has x number of toffees so here x could be any number okay means we can put x as 1 2 3 4 means we will put value of x is any number if we put x is equal to 4 so here the toffees you have is 4 minus 1 okay means we can write any number on the place of x okay here this is assumption or oh, this is called as algebra we don't know the exact number of toffees so we will put x here and we we dex describe the relationship between you and your elder brother the number of toffees you and your elder brother have okay so this is the relation x and x minus 1 now see the next one this is this is you and this is your friend so who is happy you are your friend here the left hand side is very happy see here you and your friend you both come up with with your report card after your exam you score really well you were very happy see here you were very happy but your friend score by by less but we don't know the exact score okay here all we know is your friend score 20 marks lesser than you in this case also we assume that you score high okay we don't know the exact scores so we will write your score why here so what is the score of your friend he got 20 marks lesser than you so how how will write it 
y minus twenty. Okay, means if you got hundred marks, then he got hundred minus twenty means eighty marks. If you got fifty marks, then he must have fifty minus twenty marks. So this is the relation between the score of you and your friend. Whenever we don't know the exact number, we will write alphabets. Mummy. Okay now. See here. Why do we use letters? Because it is easier to write X than drawing empty boxes, and easier to say X than the empty box. So see, it is very easy to write X than drawing empty box and. If there are several empty boxes or several unknown, we can use different letters for each one. We can write X, Y, Z, or A, B, C, D. Okay, letters can be used like symbol to make our writing short and simple. By using letters, it is very easy to write and very simple also. See here. While adding, subtracting, or carrying out operations on number, you must have discovered many properties of the operation. For example, what properties do you see in sums like nine plus four and four minus nine? So see here. The question is, what properties do you see in sums like nine plus four and Four plus nine. Okay, here the given two expressions. So nine plus four is yes. Nine plus four is nine plus four is five. Yes, and four nine plus four is thirteen, and four plus nine is. Thirteen. Okay. So the value of given two expression is equal. The sum of any two numbers and the sum obtained by reversing the order of the two numbers is the same. Okay. See here. Here given the sum of any two numbers and the op sum obtained by reversing the Order of the two number is the same, so this is the property of given expressions. Okay, now see here. Now see how much easier and faster it is write this property using letters. So here we use numbers. In in that place we will use letters. So let us use A and B to represent any two numbers. Their sum will be. A plus B. Okay. See here. At the place of nine, we use A, and at the place of B, we use four. Now their sum will be A plus B. Now see here. Changing the order of those numbers will make addition B plus A. Now here. We will reverse the number, so a plus b becomes b plus a. So therefore, the rule will be for all values of a and b, a plus b is equal to b plus a. Okay. So here, changing the order of those numbers will make the addition b plus a, and here we will we will form rule for all values of a and b is. A plus B is equal to B plus A. Now read this one. Yes, student. A plus B is yes. Is equal to B plus A. 
okay so this is the property or room okay now read this one take the value of a as 8 and b as 4 and verify property yourself okay now we have to write a as 8 and b as 4 okay now we will write a as 8 and b as 4 okay so here a is 8 and b is 4 8 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 8. Hmm. So 8 plus 4 is. Yes, 8 plus 4 is. 12. 12 and 4 plus 8 is. 12. Okay, now. We will here. Verify the property. Okay, twelve is equal to twelve. Yes, it is 24. right. Or... No, no, we don't have to add it. Twelve is equal to twelve. So the property is right or wrong? Right. Plus... Right. Yes. Good. Now, if we put a is a as Four and B adds six, so C we will get four plus six is equal to six plus four. So six plus four plus six is ten, and six uh, six plus four is ten. Ten. Okay. It means here you will see that. changing the order of the numbers okay the sum of any two numbers and the sum obtained by reversing order of the two numbers is the same okay if we write 4 plus 6 or 6 plus 4 the value must be same so here we verify the property okay now see multiplying any number by 1 gives number itself okay we here the property is given and we write this property in short using letters so we will write this property by using letters the property given is multiplying any number by 1 gives number itself now for any number we will write x <laughs> we will we will write we will write n for any number okay now multiplying any number by 1 gives the number itself we multiplied n by 1 so what is the answer the number itself now here at the place of n we will write n is equal to 2 okay now 2 into 2 is 2 into 1 is 2 means or we if we write n is equal to 5 then 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 5 so here the property is verified and we can write n into 1 is n so this is the property in short letters okay good now here the questions for evaluation read the question use a letter for any number and write the following properties in short so wherever i given any number we will put any alphabet or letter and we will write uh, write property in short now read the first one this one 
ये स्टूडेंट इक्वल नंबर्स अनइक्वल नंबर्स द डिविजन ऑफ द फर्स्ट बाय द सेकंड इज नॉट द सेम एज द डिविजन ऑफ द सेकंड बाय द फर्स्ट गुड हियर गिवन इज गिवन टू अनइक्वल नंबर्स द डिविजन ऑफ द फर्स्ट बाय द सेकंड इज नॉट द सेम एज द डिविजन ऑफ द सेकंड बाय द फर्स्ट ओके सो हियर For the numbers, we will write A and B. Okay. Now, if we write A divided by B, so these are a unequal numbers. Okay. So this is not same as B divided by. A. This is the property given, and we have to write it in short. So see here, if A is six and B is three, okay, A is six. So six divided by three. Six divided by three is not equal to three divided by six. See here, uh, six divided by three is six divided by three is two. But we cannot divide three by six. So the answer of two expression is not equal. So we can write property. Is a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a? Okay, now read the second one. Yes, student. The sum of any number and zero is the number itself. Okay, can you write? It in short, for any number we can use any letter. Okay, the sum of any number and zero is the number itself. Okay, now we can write any number as <coughs> y. Okay, y. We will write. For the any number y, so y plus zero is y plus zero is y plus zero. Why? What we get? Why? Why only? So this is the property. Okay, this is property. Y plus zero is so y here. Y is any number. If we write two, so two plus zero is. Two. If we write y is five, five plus zero is five. So we can use y as any any number. Y is four. Y is three. Y is two. Y is ten. It is any number. So in the place of any number, we will put y. So the property is y plus zero is equal to y. Now read the third one. The product of two uh, any two number and the product provided after changing the order of these number is the same. Okay, product. What what do you mean by product? Yes, product means multiplication of two numbers. Okay, means here if we Write two numbers as a and b. This is two numbers. Okay. Now here the product of two numbers means a multiplied by two is equal to the given is the product of any two numbers and the product of obtain after changing the order. Changing the order means we will change the order of 
these numbers we will write b here and a here so see here we will change the order of a and b so those numbers is the same now we will verify it if we put 2 as uh, a as 2 and b as 3 so 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to okay now 2 into 3 is 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 6 and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 okay so here the property is verified this is the property okay in short okay the fourth one the fourth uh, property is read the product of any number and zero is zero okay so product means we already know the multiplication of any two number okay so means here we multiplied any number by zero okay so any number means we use any letter okay so if we use s s as any number s multiplied by zero is we get zero okay see here if i multiplied by zero then we will get i multiply zero zero only means if we multiply any number by zero then we will get zero, zero. Only. so this is property the product of any number and zero is zero okay, good so here this is homework for you problem set 56 page number 88 okay thank you